In the next set of lectures, we're going to talk about the muscular system. In this first lecture, we are going to discuss the types of muscles and the functions of muscle tissue. Recall from a previous lecture that muscle is one of the four major tissues of the human body. And what makes muscle tissue unique compared to the other tissues is that muscle has the ability to contract or shorten in length when stimulated by an electrical impulse. There are three types of muscle tissue found in the human body. The first type is called skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle tissue is the type of tissue that you would find attached to bones, which together creates movements or locomotion. The cells of skeletal muscle are called skeletal muscle fibers. Skeletal muscle fibers are long cylindrical shaped structures that are multinucleated, meaning that they have many nuclei. The second type of muscle tissue is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle is found within the heart, and when cardiac muscle contracts, it causes the heart to pump blood. Cardiac muscle cells are oddly shaped. They are branched. They are also uninucleated, meaning they only have one nuclei. Each cell of cardiac muscle is separated by intercalated discs. And finally, the last type of muscle tissue is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle can be found as an inner layer of vessels and passageways, such as the blood vessels of the cardiovascular system and the passageways of the digestive system. When smooth muscle contracts, it causes constriction of vessels and passageways. The shape of a smooth muscle cell resembles that of a squished football or a flattened football, and it is uninucleated, meaning that it only has one nuclei per cell. Next, we'll discuss the seven functions of the muscular system. The first function is movement, and as mentioned before, when coupled with the skeletal system, the muscular system will promote movement and locomotion. The second function of the muscular system is to maintain posture. Muscles of the back, specifically the lower back, are constantly under contraction to, to maintain the body's upright and erect position. The third function of the muscular system is involved with respiration. Muscles found between the ribs, called intercostal muscles, help elevate the rib cage, pull down on the diaphragm, and expand the thoracic cavity. The fourth function of the muscular system is to produce body heat. Recall that body temperature is a negative feedback mechanism. Your body wants to maintain an optimal temperature at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes on a cold day, in order to do that, your body shivers, which is the constant contraction of muscles. The fifth function of the muscular system is involved with communication, such as writing, talking, and making gestures. The next function is the constriction of organs and vessels. Recall from a previous slide that smooth muscle makes up the inner layer of vessels and passageways. And finally, the last function of muscle tissue is involved with heartbeat. Because your heart is made up of cardiac muscle, when it contracts, the heart pumps blood. Next, we discuss the four functional characteristics of muscle. The first functional characteristic is contractility. Muscle has the ability to shorten in length to generate a force. The next functional characteristic is excitability. Muscle has the ability to respond to an electrical impulse or an action potential. The next functional characteristic is extensibility. Muscle has the ability to be stretched. And finally, the last functional characteristic of muscle is elasticity. Once stretched, muscle has the ability to recoil and return back to a resting shape or length.